Instagram fam. Been a while since I've done an Instagram live, but I just got this big honking box. Oh. From We Crochet. And I wanted to unwrap it with you guys here and unbox it and go through all of it here together. Hi everybody. I hope you're having a good day staying home and being healthy and safe. Some of you had to go to work. Wash your hands. Do your best. That's all we can ask is that people do their best. Hello. Hi. Hey, Kelly. Okay, let's get into this. So they emailed me recently. They're, um, they're the lady that does their podcast. And she was like, hey, we'd love to send you some yarn. And I was like, absolutely. Uh, so we're going to be working with them in the future, which is exciting. We've got a lot of potential things that we're playing around with in our heads, ideas for how we can collaborate and such. But first things first, I need to try their yarn and see how it goes with like my patterns or a new pattern that I need to, to put together. Um, also, I did tell them, I was like, yeah, I'd love to. I said, my audience is mostly crocheters who sell their finished pieces. So I try to get inexpensive but high quality uh, yarn that's easy to like get like sent to you or in the mail or whatever, um, or even like at the store. So, and that's, so that's what I told them um, types of yarn that I'm sorry if I'm making you nervous with this knife but like yarn that can be used for multiple types of projects things like that so that's what she had in mind she knew that information when she sent me this yarn and she told me the stuff that she sent me and the prices and why but it's in my email but we will definitely talk about all that stuff later right now I just want to see it and squish it okay Ooh, I'm very excited. I needed this, right? Nothing nothing makes a day better than getting a giant box of yarn in the mail. Okay. Seeing if this has any... Oh, I'm so excited. So this is everything that's in here. So I do have colors and, and such. I don't have um, prices right now. But get excited because I am excited. This is... This is gonna be some future stuff coming to a craftyconcept.com and wearecrochet.com. Like, I think it's called We Are. We Are Crochet. Or is it just We Crochet? It's Nitpicks, Nitpicks's crochet thing that they just, it's, I, I think it's fairly new. Um, I tagged them in my stories. We'll see, maybe the, Oh, who's excited? Or is anybody else excited? We're excited for this yarn. Just new yarn that I've never played with before and future collabs with this company, which I'm 95% sure it's called We. Let's just look it up real quick. So I get it, get it right. I gotta get it right. While I do this, did you guys see my lovely plant that I crocheted over the weekend? I needed a photo prop for some of my flat lays and stuff, but also for my videos. It is called, yeah, We Crochet. That's what it's called, the company that these are from. And they are the sister company of Knit Picks. We Crochet. Okay. So all of these yarns can be purchased on that website. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh, fun. So these are their Bright Crochet Hook Set. And she said they are similar to Clover and More, which you guys know that I love. Um, I use those in every single hook. It looks like, so the colors are different too, which is kind of cool because sometimes the hook that I'm using doesn't match my width and it looks weird in pictures. But these... I'm definitely gonna give these a try and see how they compare to Clover Amore crochet hooks. These are much cheaper than Clover Amore. I think, I really don't wanna say anything wrong, but I think this pack is like 10 bucks. So, which you can go to the, the We Crochet website and find that for sure, or I can do it here on the live if we want to. 
Um, but I'm excited to play with these and see how they compare to Clover more because I know that those hooks are sometimes a little pricey, especially if you wanted to get the whole set. So we try to keep our eyes out for like sales and stuff for that guy. But this will hopefully give us a good HIJ. It only goes up to J, but it has it goes all the way down to two. I think Clover and more doesn't go that low. I don't remember how low they go, but this is a two, two millimeter all the way down here. And then this is a J. So no K's in this pack. Okay, I'm excited to try that. Okay, okay. Ugh. So this, she, oh man, it's luscious. I'm gonna have to pull it up so I can give you guys more information as I go. Cause I know I, I don't want to not be able to give you the information that you need on this new yarn. So I'm gonna go to their website. Just, it is crochet.com. That's all I'm going to, crochet.com, and I'm going to look these up as we get to look at them here. So this is Brava Worsted Weight. And this one comes in a ton of colors. I'm going to try to work my crochet pillows in, the, in this yarn. Oh my gosh, you guys. Guess how much this is. How many ounces is it? 100 grams, 218 yards. I don't know, then there's no ounces. Um, I buy I Love This Yarn, which is in ounces, but this is, this still doesn't say, $1.99 for this skein of yarn. And it's soft, like it is, it is nice. It's not itchy or scratchy or like stiff. It is very nice. I am excited to try this out. This is, okay, so Brava Worsted Weight in the color, Asphalt Heather. It's very pretty. It's like a heathered dark gray color. I'm looking at the black here. And it, it's, let's see, we got, do you guys want to, it's premium acrylic, 100% premium acrylic, machine washable. That's what I'm talking about. It's got lots of really good reviews, you guys. Oh, I can't wait to get my hook in this yard. If there's any more information that you want me to look up, while we're on here, I absolutely can do that. I don't know if there's, if I'm missing anything, but if you guys have more information on, or want more information, just stop me. I'll try to read these as I, as I go and um, I can, oh, I can't wait to, can you see, can you like tell anything by the video like this? This is squishy and it's soft. I really, really can't wait to try this. Brava, the brand is um, We Crochet slash nitpicks okay so it's got both of them on there so there's the companies we crochet and nitpicks nitpicks came along first we crochet came along second they wanted to make a space just for crocheters specifically there's more in this box so that's what this is i'm gonna have the best evening ever i'm just going to get my hook in all of these all of these things okay let's see what's next Okay, this is called Dishy. That's cute. 190 yards, 100 grams, worsted weight. This one is 100% cotton, machine wash on cold. So this is cotton yarn and it looks, it look, it's not as like buttery soft as I love this cotton, but it's softer than like the sugar, sugar, cream and sugar, whatever it's called. It does look a little thin, which honestly, not gonna lie, the size of the Bitty Boho bib is a little big. Now that I've, it's been a couple years since I released that pattern and I know more things now about crochet and designing and babies because they have a baby. But um, I would like to try it with a slightly thinner cotton and see if the size is, if it, like it might be perfect after that. So that's very exciting. And look at this gorgeous blue. This is called Azure. A-Z-U-R-E. Y'all know I can't pronounce things, but I, I pronounce it Azur. You're frozen. It's tech issues. Am I still frozen? Yeah. Someone, Sarah says, I'm loving that price tag. Me too. Somebody tell me how many ounces is 100 grams. I don't have my Google plugged in right now with the room renovation. So, am I frozen? Are we good? 
No, you're fine. Perfect. Does anybody know how many ounces is 100 grams? Does anybody want to Google that really quick? Because um, Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn is $4.99 for seven. Yeah, $4.99 for seven ounces. Oh, good. Not frozen. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Okay. Three and a half ounces. Okay. That's not bad. That's really not bad. That is a good price point. I'm excited for this. And isn't it awesome that she took that into consideration before she sent me like yarn to play with? Like she took my audience into consideration. Like I love that. I love that so much because I hate when I get awesome things and I want to share it with you guys. And I'm like, oh, these are so, this is so awesome. And it's only $35 per skein. Like that's not, it's not really target audience specific for me. My people for the most part is people that's trying to sell their things. Like that's what I have cultivated, right? Um, I try to help you guys sell your things. So you need inexpensive materials so your profit margins are higher. So I just love that she took that into con consideration. Uh, no, I do not speak Spanish, Dana, Diana. I can't read either. No Spanish. Um, I can say lo siento, no Spanish. I would like to learn though, necesita, Learn Spanish. I'm sorry. I want to learn. I really do. I know a little bit of sign language. If anybody's, if anybody's curious about that, like some American sign language, I know a little bit of that. Oh, here is another Brava, which is the same as the heathered gray that I had. This color is called silver. Yeah. Oh man, it's pretty. These are, I'm going to make some pillows. I'm gonna make some pillows out of this. I'm excited. Okay, this one is called, it says it's called Mighty Stitch, super bulky. So we have a super bulky weight. It is 20% super wash wool, 80% acrylic. It is a number six. The other two yarns was a number four. This is a number six. Oh, Azure is blue in Spanish. That's the col- was I reading the Spanish color? That's the only color they had. So this color is called Azure. That makes sense that, that she would think, ask to think if I spoke Spanish because I said Azure, which is Spanish. I didn't know that. I know Rojo, which is red in Spanish. And I learned a color last night when I was playing Rook with my friends. I learned a color, I think it might've been green, but I can't remember. Yeah, it was green because it's something about green guacamole. I can't remember, but I did learn, I did learn the word for green in Spanish. <laughs> okay, now we have Mighty Stitch. This stuff is like silky soft, like really makes your fingers feel soft just from touching it. Verde, yes. Verde in green, <laughs> yes. Somebody teach me Spanish, wouldn't that be cool? Exchange Spanish lessons for crochet patterns. I would love to learn Spanish and be able to like translate my videos and stuff in Spain. I would love that. There's a huge Spanish and Portuguese community in this, in our world that we live in. So like our crochet or knitter yarn, yarn addict world. Oh man. Okay. So this is squishy, super, super soft. The color is mint and it is a number six. It's gorgeous. There they. I think Spanish is fun. My mouth likes saying Spanish words. Oh, this one's called avocado. Ah, oh, that's gorgeous. It's the, the Bravo yarn again, the $1.99. $1.99, and it goes on sale sometimes. So don't buy anything just yet, because after this video, I will get you an affiliate link, because they are in the affiliate program that I am an affiliate of. So I will check my email and see if I got that, um, that green light to give me my affiliate link. But how pretty is, I need to make a, I need to make a plant out of this green. That would be so pretty, or a beanie. Green beanies always make my eyes pop. Can you see? So pretty, $1.99, full price. You can get it on sale. I think it might be on sale. It doesn't look like this one's on sale, but it might be based on different colors, I don't know. But it's, and it's soft on the skein. Now I will give you guys more um, information about this stuff once I actually get my hook in it and start making things. I really want cactus pillow in this avocado green. Yes. Oh, it's a wrap. Well, it will be a wrap soon. Make a plant holder. What's a wrap? What's a wrap? Where do you buy these? Online? 
We cro crochet.com. Just crochet.com. Oh, okay. Crochet.com. How much is the bulky yarn? Let's look. I'm just pull I've just pulled up the website, so I will look. So let's see. It is called Mighty Stitch Super Bulky. This is exciting, you guys. Um, it is on sale right now. Mighty Stitch Super Bulky. At least this button is on sale. It looks like it's $4.49 regularly. And it's like silky soft. It is really, really silky. Um, let me see. I don't know why it's got like the individual colors are listed at full price. And the one that's got all the color. Okay, so some of the colors are on sale. Some of them. This one is $2.79. And it's like a, it's called Alfalfa. And it's like a, a soft green. Um, we have like a, this one's called Ivy. But it looks like a, an olive. I don't know why it's called. Oh, like Poison Ivy, probably. Um, three dollars It's on sale. Mint. Mint is $2.79. That is a very good price. Oh, they have like a jade green that's $2.79. She might have said, wait, wait, is this Ivy? Ivy! This one is $3.59 right now. Oh, pretty. that's like a hunter green, like a forest green. Very pretty, very pretty. We already looked at avocado. You guys, this is so fun. We're gonna have to send them a big honk and thank you. Okay, what's this one? Brava again. This is the $1.99 yarn that we are excited. Look at that pink. That's very similar to Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn in Tropical Pink, but it's a little bit more richer, like um, more saturated. If I was looking at a photo and I beefed up the saturation on Tropical Pink, it would look like this. This one looks a little thicker. You know how sometimes different colors give you different Red for me is always different, no matter what brand of yarn. If I use red, it's a, it's slightly different. But this this looks slightly different from the pink to the to the heather gray. Can you guys even tell that in video? I don't know, but I will make swatches. I'll be like, swatch you doing all night long, making swatches. Bravo, just kidding. <laughs> Bravo bulky weight. It's different. Bravo worsted weight. Bravo bulky weight. Bulky weight. That's why it's thicker. Cool! I bet this will be gorgeous for Addy Beanies. I love using the like slightly thicker. It's almost like a like a heavy worset or something. But I love using those for my double brim knit beanies on the Addy machine. So this, I will be adding it up. Looking to make a crochet succulent garden because I kill all real plants. Me too, angel of death. <laughs> Sounds like you've killed more than plants. I'm just kidding. Um, I have a, a shelf on my wall and, I, and the top of it has like a little, like a little hole around because there's crown molding and I'm going to fill it up with fake plants. That guy is one of them. I'll show it to you. You guys want to see? Okay. So I made this up as I was listening to podcasts, but I think, and some of these are way better than others. Like this one was one of my first ones. Can you see that, that little leaf? Is like kind of weird and then I got I got way better see these ones are all like bald really nicely none of the weird like some of them kind of make like a scallop almost but then when I when I got the balls figured out it was fun I just needed and I made some dirt and I just pulled it in there I pulled it in there and wrapped it around <laughs> nobody has to know it's a secret my dirty little secret dirty little secret that's my, my little plant. Okay. Okay. Brava. Let's see how much this one is. Oh, oh. Mighty Stitch Super Bulky. We are B-R-A. Brava. Bulky weight. Brava. Bulky yarn. $1.99. Also. And some of the colors are on sale. For $1.59. Hey-o. Okay. Oh, here's another one. This one's different. Tough Puff. Tough Puff. Super bulky weight. This color is called Snickerdoodle. <laughs> so cute. This is 100% wool. My sister would be allergic. Hand wash, let dry flat. Number six. She said this is good for like home decor items. So uh, I'm going to try probably a wall hanger. 
probably a pillow. Um, I have an idea for a floor poof for in the future. So maybe a, maybe a floor poof out of this. Cracky, boho, floor poof. You guys, shut the front door. Shut the front door. Okay, what is this color called? I'm not even gonna try to say it. Sierra Fim? Sierra Fim. This is almost the exact same color as Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn Smoked Lavender or Lavender Smoke that was discontinued like two years ago. Let me show you. I have, I have some of it. It was my favorite color of yarn that they discontinued and I have this tiny piece that I've been keeping forever. Where is it? But it's so close. Oh, sorry. It's so similar to this color. Look at this color. It's like, can you see it? Can you can you see it better back here in front of that white? It's a very soft purple. And it's like almost glossy. This color, you guys, I have missed this color. This color makes gorgeous Claire Bun beanies. And I haven't, I saved my tiny bit of this color and I hadn't decided what I was even gonna do with it. I love this color. Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn discontinued this color like two years ago. Squirrel moment, I know, I'm sorry. I was talking about this yarn, but then I saw this color. Isn't it pretty? Oh, that's exciting. And this is the bulky weight Brava, so the slightly thicker. So I'm going to make a knit beanie with this as soon as this live is over. That's going on this side of me, not next to all this stuff because that is happening first. I'm excited, okay. Back to my wool that I have. <laughs> Sorry for the the spaz, spazzy brain. That's me. Tough puff. Okay, I'm excited. I've never worked with wool before, 100% wool. So I'm excited to try this out. What do you guys make with 100% um, number six wool? Because I need some suggestions because I need to start using this really fun yarn. Do you guys wanna see how much this one is? You can see. You guys, I haven't done a live in forever either, so I'm kind of, kind of pumped up right now. Tough, puff, super bulky weight. Mm. Tough, puff. Okay. Okay, here we go. It is normally $4.99, but some of the colors are on sale right now for $3.14. Wow. These are fantastic. And they have a ton of colors for every one of these options that we've looked up so far, like a ton. So whatever your target audience is into, like whatever types of shades of colors, there's all the colors. So you could find the few that your target audience would resonate towards. You would be able to find them in here. They have one called Flamingo in this, in this and it's like a light blush pink, gorgeous. Um, cactus Blossom, which is like a coral color. This one is called Snickerdoodle. It's so pretty. Ugh, exciting. I got some more Snickerdoodle. I need to make a floor poof out of Snicker, not floor, yeah, floor poof, like a floor pillow out of this yarn. Very pretty. Little Red Knits has a nice crochet beanie pattern for yarn, bulky, or you can probably make that. That'd be fun. Can I just say I love your stories and live videos. You always brighten my day. You brighten my day, Steph's Crafty Boutique. You brighten my day. You guys brighten my day every single day. Like, I love you more than, I can't put it into words. Like, this community means everything to me. Oh, I'm so glad. Crochet City KC. What is all this? I'm late to the game. Hey Mel, um, We Crochet sent me a box of yarn. Um, I'm gonna be working with them. We're gonna be like not working, I'm like collaborating um, soon. We've been talking about it. We, nothing is in the books yet, but we've just like introduced ourselves to each other and they wanted me to play with their yarn because I had never played with it before. Um, so they sent me this giant box and I'm unboxing it here with you guys, my favorite people. So thank, so far, let's do a little recap, okay? We've done Brava Worsted Weight, which is super squishy and very soft to the touch. I haven't made anything with it yet, but I'm very excited 
to try it out. I'm gonna make like a scarf to see how it feels on my neck. For some reason, I feel like neck, necks are more sensitive, I don't know. And then um, I'll make a pillow and hug it. This is, I'm excited for this. This is the probably the one that we will use the most once we get started using this yarn. And um, $1.99, a scheme. And it goes on sale. And then they showed me the Brava Super Bulky, or just regular, worsted weight, bulky weight, worsted weight, worsted weight. I thought I had two bulky, oh yeah, over here. Brava Bulky, so they're slightly thicker, just slightly, which is perfect. This is probably like, would be, would be uh, similar to Yarn Bee's Soft Essentials, if I could speak. Yarn Bee Soft Essentials. I'm looking at it right over there. It's another one of my yarns that I just love. And I, I think they only ship in America and Canada, but I'm not sure. The only reason I think that is because there's an American flag slash Canadian flag at the top of their website. So I don't know if they ship international or not. If anybody else knows that, let's see, shipping? How can we help? Shipping. Most U.S. orders are processed and on their way to you within one to two business days. You should expect delivery in five to 14 calendar days, depending upon your location. Okay, let's see if it says anything about, for standard shipping, ultimately your order will be delivered by the U.S. Postal Service. Um, if you get $35 or more, you get free shipping. What? $1.99, buy $35 worth and you get free shipping in America. That's for US shipping. Okay, and then it says two day flat rate shipping only available on continuous US only, in, in continuous US. So that means not Hawaii or Alaska. And then it says free shipping to Canada on orders over $75, which isn't bad. I have been known to spend more than $75 on yarn at one time. All Canadian orders will be delivered using Canada's post expedited mail service. Or carrier, you should expect delivery in five to 14 business days, depending upon your location. And then it's got some, wait, 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 no. As a service to our Canadian customers, we collect the appropriate tax and ship to address. Tax rates, oh, by provenance. So these are the different parts of Canada. There's different taxes. They've got all this on their website. It is crochet.com backslash or forward slash, I mean, forward slash the port and then I clicked on the shipping button that's where I'm getting all this information um please note due to shipping regulation okay free shipping free shipping to the UK on orders over 40 pounds so they do ship to the UK via the royal post service how fancy Okay, let's see. Dang, their website is, I looked that up in like two seconds. This is a very user-friendly web. I love this company already. It's been a good 10 minutes of being introduced to them after I had an awesome experience talking to the, the girl in my email. Like she was fantastic, very personable. This is my first experience with this company and I love them. I love that they have such an easy to use website because then I know I can feel good sending you guys to the website like, I love when I find things that will help me serve you better. It makes me very happy. Free, sh uh, free shipping to Australia on orders over $100. So it looks like we've got all of the places for shipping, or most of them, I would guess. I bet uh, that's all for the shipping. I'm trying to make sure there's nothing else. So it looks like international shipping, you guys. That is a game changer. A lot of my international friends can't get the Hobby Lobby yarn that I use. Now I'll have a better option. Like that's exciting for me. And once you get, okay, so, and then picture this, right? You, you niche down, you pick your like five to five to seven, eight, nine colors that you want to use in your shop. And then you just have to order those seven, five, whatever colors 
And when you run out or almost run out, you will order more online and it will come right to your house. This is amazing. This is good news. This is such good news. I am very excited. Can you tell? What are they called? Crochet.com. It is Knit Picks. Knit Picks and We Crochet. That is it's the same company. They're like sister companies. It started out as Knit Picks and then they they added this one fairly recently. I'm pretty sure. Oh, and this is a new yarn. Ooh, this is nice. This kind of feels like um the the Red Heart Soft, not the not Essentials, not the chunky, the Red Heart Soft. Oh man, can you tell? Can you see like the shine to this one? This is very soft. Courtney Knit says she loves knit picks. Awesome, this is my first time being introduced to them, Court Knits. So I am very excited. Also, this pink is gorgeous. This is very close to Crochet Boss Academy pink. Like my, my jacket that I, I have and the, all the website and stuff, which you guys will see in like four days when the site goes live. I'm gonna puke, I'm so excited. Um, but this is, it says it's worse in weight, 80% acrylic, 20% super wash wool. Machine wash cold, tumble dry. Let's see how much this one is. Very, I mean like silky, silky soft and squishy. This one feels, this one feels like a luxury, more of a luxury yarn. So let's see. Mighty Stitch Worsted Weight. Isn't that another one called Mighty Stitch? Mighty Stitch, super bulky. No wonder they're both silky. Like they both make your fingers feel softer from touching them. I'm trying to explain it as best I can. Oh, this color is called bubble gum. Okay, Mighty, M-I-G-H-T-Y-S-T, Stitch, Worsted, wait. I'm gonna swatch all of the things. Okay, normally $4.49, but they do go on sale as low as $2.79. $2.79. Very, very, very soft. Um, it should probably be 100, 100 grams. Yeah, I think all of their skeins are 100 grams. And somebody watching told me that that was three and a half ounces. So if that if you're used to buying your yarn in ounces, like moi. Okay. Ooh, another Bravo worsted weight. This one looks like um, aubergine. Aubergine. It is called wine. So pretty. That's such a luscious color. Can you guys see the color? Like I, I know it's not showing up on screen as well as it is in real life, but these colors are rich. They are very, very rich. It's, to the best of my knowledge, I'm pretty sure this is a completely online yarn store. Basically, they have, they don't. Court knits, if you know the answer, do they Supply to other other businesses too, or they just only sell their yarn online. You can't get it anywhere else. Does anybody know? You should have painted the wall you set your desk. Wait, wall you set your desk pink too. Oh, this wall? That's, I really like the white shiplap. I didn't do a whole lot of color because when I'm videoing or filming in here, I don't want the color to bounce off and then make me look at that color. So that's why I made everything white, but I thought it was okay to do a little sliver of pink. It's only online, that's what I thought. Okay, so they only sell online, so that cuts out the middleman, and that's probably why their prices are so fantastic. Because if they're not supplying, so if they were to sell their yarn to Hobby Lobby, then Hobby Lobby would have to up their price in order to make a profit when they sell it to us. But where they, they cut that out, they go directly from them to us. That's why these prices are so fantastic. Like this is this is exciting. This is a whole new world for me. I've never bought Knit Picks yarn. I bought paint box yarn, but I've never bought Knit Picks. And these, my goodness, so, so soft. The wall under, oh yeah, I should have. This is gonna be covered in cabinets. We're gonna put cabinets. What am I we're gonna put cabinets under there. Now there will be a couple open spots where, like I'll probably do two open spots for chair for my chair to go under, and I'll probably have to either paint that white to match the shiplap, or I could paint it pink. That would be really cute. I have plenty of pink left over. I used the pink to paint this guy. My little hook holder. It's supposed to be a pen holder, but it's a perfect hook holder. Um, sorry, this one is still up here. The worsted weight, Mighty Stitch. Did I say it's glossy already? Cause it's very glossy. I don't know if you can. Okay, so this is Brava bulky weight, bulky weight compared to the 
Oh yeah, you can tell. <gasps> you can tell. You see that shine that it has? It's like glossy. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. I can't wait to play with this. It does look thinnish. Looks like a thinner four or so weight yarn. So we will get that out and play with it later. Let's see. What's this one? Ooh, Mighty Stitch. Okay, this one just says Mighty Stitch. But I bet, yeah, worse than wait, it says on the back. So we got some black and pink. Yay, Crochet Boss Academy. Black and pink. Black and pink. Okay, what else? Ooh, ooh. Looky here. Oh, it says we crochet on it. It's a yarn tote. I can fill this bad boy up with all my yarn. This is nice. Oh, you guys. So this company is for crocheters, right? But they also have knit picks, which is for knitters. But they, look at this. Look at the inside of this bag. It's crochet hooks. Isn't that precious? I love this so much. You guys, check these comments out because other people that know more than me are telling you what else they have in on their website because I am a noob. I am a wee crochet noob. This is awesome. I could probably curl up in this bag and it's got like a little, one little pocket that you can set your, like separate your stuff in. I'm gonna put my, they sent me these hooks for people who are just now joining. They sent me these hooks. I know, right? String theory crochet spoiled me rotten. Hopefully I can turn around and spoil you guys right back with it. I did, I did, we, we're gonna work on some fun things with this company. I already just absolutely love them. Like, and I love that I have a company that I love because I don't wanna just be mediocre about a company that I recommend to you guys. So, so far their website is super user friendly. Their yarn is super, super squishy and lovely. Their prices are fantastic and their customer service is killer. So they are just checking all the boxes. I am loving this company oh moni's on the site now checking it out sweet it's we crochet or just crochet.com will take you there and you can see all of the the kits and stuff that they have very exciting i'm gonna put my computer over here out the way okay look coffee crochet sleep or repeat that is very very true project bag cool so it's just a little drawstring and you can <clears throat> i should have brought my water up here but you can, like if you're working on a whip, separate it from your other whips, keep your yarn together. You can even put your hook in there if you wanted to. This is nice. This is smart. I have never thought about doing this before, but I, I, this is very smart to, cause I, you know, when you have like a whip basket of all your whips and then they just get intertwined and you don't know which hook goes with which one and the yarn is all knotted up. This would prevent that. And it's cute. Look at this. I love this. Yeah, I'm definitely going to start using this because I've got some whips that I've been designing forever because they're giving me fits and I will be able to organize them better. This is nice. I can put a little tag in there that tells me it says it's interchangeable needle case. So I guess they have. No, and it also says project bag too. So I guess you can put your, your interchangeable needles in here if you wanted to. Oh my, another squirrel moment. But look, you guys, fur, fur yarn. This is called Fable Fur. Oh my, this feels like a little bunny rabbit. Let me make sure this, 100% oh, polyester. <laughs> this is not a little baby bunny rabbit. This, whoa. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. Oh man, I cannot wait to play with this. This is nice. Ooh, very, very nice. What if we made an Ava bunny in this yarn? And it would look like a real bunny, cause this looks like a real bunny and it feels like a real bunny, but it's 100% polyester. Fable fur, super bulky. This one's called Kuma. I think all of the, she said, cause I listened to a couple podcast episodes. She said all of their fur yarn is named after, it's the word bear in different languages. So Kuma is bear in a different language. If you speak that language, let me know. Thanks for the update for the new folks, Sarah P. Palmer. I know, boho stocking, BH knits. I was thinking the same thing. Also, the the crafty boho slippers, I've made a knee length version and the top has fur at the top. So that pattern will hopefully be out this winter 
um, I ran out of cold weather. They do, they do do podcasts, and I've listened to a couple of them already. The girl that contacted me is their, the one who does their podcast, like their main podcast lady. Her name starts with an H, and it's either, I'm pretty sure it's Heather. Might be Hannah. I'm pretty sure it's Heather. This is very pretty. Are they all Puma? I think they're all Puma. Mm-hmm. Yes, they're all Puma, these three furry yarns. So, so silky soft. Now, what are these? Are these like samples? Because I love that. What are these? Okay, look at this. Oh, it's the Brava. It's the Brava Worsu Way mini skein, so you can test out the colors. That is such good serving. Whoa! Oh, they got the worsted weight in the, the smoky purple. I'm excited. Okay, so if you're trying to figure out who your target audience is and you want to see all of these yarns before you buy them, you can get little mini sample skeins. See them in real life next to each other. See how they compare together. This is amazing. Hobby Lobby doesn't do this at all. You would have to buy one skein of all the colors in order. To, this is amazing. This is such good serving your customers like they know what we need and then they do that thing whoa my mind is blown i have all of the colors now all of them i need to take a moment i need to collect myself because i am excited we need it says versatility meets affordability brava is a 100 percent premium acrylic yarn that will keep up with all of life's adventures soft and extremely durable Use Bravo when durability and easy care are a must, aka Claire Bun Beanies. I love this. Imagine if you could say that in your in your listings, and I say it in my Claire Bun Beanie listings, uh, wash on gentle, lay flat to dry. But this one, so when they're like, how do I wash it? You're like, yeah, you can just put it in the washer. Just wash it on gentle, which you might not have to wash it on gentle, but that's probably still a good, a good, um, it just says machine wash. But then you wouldn't have to say hand wash only or spot clean only. When I see that on something that I want to buy, especially if it's something for Ava, I ain't about to buy a spot. I don't know how to spot clean, you guys. If something needed spot cleaned, I wouldn't know how to do that. I would be like Googling, how do I spot clean a beanie? I'm a horrible homemaker. I am a crocheter. I am a designer. Not a homemaker. I'm not good at that. So I'm going to be able to do a beautiful picture of all of these stinking colors. You guys, I don't think I've ever been so excited. I don't think I've ever loved a company so much. A brand new company that I just met. Like, I'm not, I'm not one to just jump in with both feet like this. Like, I am excited. I am excited. These colors are gorgeous. I really like this one. It's like a terracotta lighter. Which one is this one is called um, Coral. Isn't that pretty? It looks very orange in this. It's not as orange as it looks. It's It's got some red undertones. It's really pretty. That sounds so artistic. Red undertones. Okay, we got another pack. My goodness. Bravo mini packs. How, we need to figure out how much these mini packs are. Yes, it is good for yarn chicken. Let's see if let's see if these are sold on the store. I bet they are. Let's see. Cuz that's really really good for my people. Oh. Was it what did I say? Mini packs. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Brava mini packs. I don't know how many, so they're, they're separated. They have so many colors, you guys. Okay, so they're separate. You can buy mini packs in different like color families. So you can get blues, which is this guy. You can get jewel tones. You can get rainbow, which is like your traditional reds, which, which one does it say what they are? Mm -hmm. Also, everybody that works at this company are also makers, which is really cool. 
I don't know if this is the reds. I would say this one's probably the reds pack. And then the blues. But one pack is $20. That's not bad. And you get, for, for just being, like, instead of buying all of the skeins, just so you can look at the colors and then not know if you're even going to use the yarn later when we're niching down and trying to find what we think our target audience would really enjoy. Also, what if you're, like, trying to match something and you can whip this bad boy out like if you do a lot of custom orders you can be like hey yeah bring it over and we'll see because i know when i first started out i had a lot of like friends and family so they would just come over to my house and be like hey i want that yarn so you could say yeah bring your baby blanket over and i'll try to make your hat match with all these different tiny little skeins of yarn that i have and they're shaped like little skeins like they're very cute they're very very cute oh i could put these on my wall I could put them all on this wall behind me, my pegboard wall. That would be really cute. And then I'd have all these little skein, little skein butts. That'd be cute. Man, I am digging this company. Okay, what else, what else? What? Ooh, they sent me, this is Flamingo. We talked about it earlier I was, when I was looking at the color chart. So this is the Tough Puff again, their wool that we talked about. This is called Flamingo. This is, I love this. This is the same color as my wall. This is gorgeous. Okay, let me set this down. I really need my water. Whoa, neon pink. It like glows on the video. This is fun. What is this one called? This one's called Pucker. <laughs> Pucker, very pretty. Okay, do we have any more? Oh, here's that Mighty Stitch, that the one that's a little bit more expensive than the Brava. The one that looks glossy. Look at that bright yellow. I'm gonna make some pineapples. Ooh, this pink is pretty. This is Bravo Worsted Weight in the color Cotton Candy. You guys know I love pink. If I say pink, I'm gonna get excited. What's this? What is this? Dishy Twist, cool. So it's the same as this one, but it's Dishy Twist. That's cool. I love that. That would be really pretty for Crafty Facial Rounds, the borders. That's really pretty. It's like black and white twisted up like a candy cane. Can you guys tell? That's really pretty. Okay, I just dropped this one. Okay, man. Do we have anything? Do you guys wanna see all of the colors or you just wanna see the new, haven't shown yet yarn? Let's see, this one is uh, blush called blush and it's the mighty stitch which is the four dollar worsted weight yarn for something the glossy one so pretty so here's brava worsted weight and mighty stitch worsted weight next to each other this one's a dollar 99 this one is like 4.29 or 59 i don't remember and again these are all from crochet.com the company is called Knit picks and it's called We Crochet. It's like both companies. Ooh, what's this one? Brava Bulky Weight. I'm digging this Brava Bulky Weight. I'm excited for this one. Let's see. Oh, more Tough Puff in the gray. Ooh, Mighty Stitch. Super bulky in this like peacock color. It is called. It is called. Spruce, spruce, very pretty, so pretty. I just wanna swim in all of this yarn, just swim in it. Okay, wait, oh, 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 oh my gosh. How cute is that? It's a little cactus, a little yarn cactus. That's adorable, that is cute. Nora says she loves Mighty Stitch, using it for a secret upcoming crochet along she's a part of. That's exciting, Nora. Nora's Knits. I always call you Nora in my head when I read your um, Instagram handle. I don't think that's your name, though. <laughs> um, this is super cute. I have a handful of really cute pins, and I have nothing, like, they're not displayed anywhere. I need to fix that, because this I have some from the Hook Nook. I have some from couple other like sometimes people do sales on their pins so I buy one I'm not a pin person but I do think they're really cute and I need to find something to do with them I want them to not get damaged though so maybe I should like hang them somewhere so cute okay 
Mighty Stitch Worst Away in the color Ash. Where's the one that's color Tay? Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> this is Ash. It's a very pretty gray color. Ooh, this is called Navy and it's very rich. It's a very, very rich shimmery, not shimmery as in glitter, shimmery as in gloss, glossy. Very pretty. Put them on your crochet bag. What if they bump into stuff or like it bumps and then falls off or something and I don't know it? Does anybody else put them on their crochet bags? Are they safe for the most part? I'm gonna make snow angels and all this yarn. Got some, oh, this is the Mighty Stitch. Okay, so I got it in, in the wool and the Knit Picks Mighty Stitch Super Bulky. This color, I'm digging it. And it's almost summertime. Makes me want summer right now. More dishy. This is their cotton. I'm definitely gonna play with it. Um, I like making Ava bunnies with cotton and I've made some stuffies with cotton, but they're not Ava Bunnies. They're a secret project that I'm working on that people in the Ash and Tay Crochet community that joined my Tuesday Talks last week saw it. Don't comment what it is. It's a secret. But I made it out of, I love this cotton, and I really liked it. I'm going to try making an Ava Bunny out of this dishy cotton. Um, if you sell kids things or baby things, sometimes parents just prefer natural fibers. I'm not one of those parents. It doesn't make a difference to me, but a lot of people are. And if, if you can just say that in your listings or um, at your markets, like, yeah, everything is 100% cotton, or I only use natural fibers, that, that sounds really nice when you are promoting your company. So I will try this dishy yarn out. I'll make a Bitty Boho Bib and an Ava Bunny. I'm going to be making all the things out of all this yarn. Ooh, baby, this color is pretty. This one is called... Marina, like where dolphins live. Very pretty. Oh man, the squish. I wish I could just shove it through the phone for you so you guys could all feel it. That would be amazing. What's this? Oh, that's another little mini pack. When I got excited and I flung them everywhere. Okay, here's another flamingo of the wool. Very nice. Brava bulky weight. Very nice. I'm definitely, definitely going to make me a beanie, a knit beanie, like as soon as this is over. I'm making a beanie in this. Oh, that just reminded me, like this thinner stuff would probably make really nice head warmers with the Addy. Because the thicker, they get really wide, but the thinner get, looks less wide when you, this would make a really pretty twisted ear warmer type deal with the Addy, the Addy crank knitting. Okay, ooh, more dishy twist. That's pretty, that's that teal color. That would make a pretty bitty boho bib. Lion Brand has 100% bamboo yarn. Cotton isn't that great for the environment. It's better than plastic, but thank you for letting us know not your average crochet because like I said, I am not um, educated in that area. So that's, that's really good information. Thank you. I need to say, I wonder, I have Lion Brand's one of the, I think it's their cotton. I haven't tried the bamboo. I need to though. I like to be a good resource for you guys. And branching out to try new yarns. I just started doing it in 2019. Up until 2019, I just used I Love This Yarn and I Love This Cotton. 24-7. I never used anything else. And I love that I have branched out. Okay, here's some more of that hunter green color. Super pretty. And that's the Mighty Stitch bulky one. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this, but I love it. Maybe when I make the um, Tunisian blanket this winter, the Tunisian Knit Stitch blanket, I have one that I made with a different yarn, but I could make it out of this. It would be luscious and beautiful. Man, if I could make it out of neon pink, that would make me happy. It doesn't photograph well, though. Neon pink is hard to photograph. Okay. Ooh, this color is pretty. It is called Canary. It's not It's not like a bright yellow. I mean, it's bright, but it's not. Can you tell the difference? How it's like deeper than this bright yellow. This is like a pineapple yellow. It's not mustard, but it's, it's deeper. This yarn is deep. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. And then this one is the Mighty Stitch Worsted Weight again. Sunflower, that's sweet. 
Um, I needed to make a pineapple wall hanger. That was the mod that Sarah from the Plush Pineapple put on my blog last year. Um, I have never made one. I need to because those are darling. Ooh, here's another one of that navy. Very, very pretty. Here is a Gulf Stream in Mighty Stitch Super Bulky. Okay, so it's, it's different than what's showing up. It's not as like cobalt blue as it looks on more of an electric blue so it's a little different than what it maybe with the white background i don't know i have to take a picture of these things outside so you guys can see this color is pretty this would make a pretty claire bun beanie this one's called brindle you know what i'm sitting on my knees and i bet when i stand up it's gonna feel like i can't walk it's gonna be fun i'll make sure to not video that when i stand up brindle very pretty very classy looking brown. Would make a pretty clear bun beanie. Okay. Oh, oh, dishy and oh, this this whitish, whitish cream color. Swan. It's called Swan. That's really pretty. That would make a pretty bitty boho bib. People love the neutrals for their babies, the little babies. And then like school age kids love the funky, bright funky. That's what they love. Oh, dishy again with the dark. And then here's a dishy that's black. Very nice, very pretty. I'm so excited. I'm gonna have a photo shoot day tomorrow. Pretty sure it's on the calendar that tomorrow is photo shoot day. So I'm gonna make sure to photograph this yarn as well. We just start talking about it. I got some more Tough Puff. That's the wool. We've got another Tough Puff in silver. And ooh, ooh, this is so nice. Nitpick, super bulky in the color blush. That's so soft. So squishy. Let's see. Mm. Another Tough Puff in neon. We're gonna have to do something. So I think I had two, two neon Tough Puff, tough, two of everything for, the, for these ones. I need to find something that I can do with this because I need a bright pillow in my craft space. I love this bright pink. I love it so much. And I really love this this deep yellow. This is gorgeous. And I love that they offer the, the size skeins. This is the most awesome thing ever. I'm going to make sure to email her. Okay, two more Tough Puffs in the mint color. Very pretty. I've never used um, just straight up wool before. I'm going to, I'm going to sit. Okay. Ah, I'm getting old. Okay. Okay. Excuse me, squishy yarn. My knees. Okay. We're good. There we go. Ooh. That one's pretty. That color's pretty if you like purple. Okay. Ooh. Mighty Stitch in blush. Mighty Stitch in bubblegum. Mighty Stitch in white. Oh. Very pretty. Very pretty. And then last, I have a Brava Bulky Weight in the color Dublin. Like Dublin, Ohio. And then we have some magazines in here. I wonder if I have any friends in these books. Whew. 22 brand new crochet patterns to make now. It's a book. It's got one of those like leathery type covers on it. I love covers like, look how pretty. Whoa, that's really pretty. And it's got all kinds of crochet abbreviations on the back. That's handy, like um, stitch abbreviations. Let's see, oh, ooh, ah, yes. We believe in crochet. They got some really pretty pictures. Isn't that pretty, like a pretty stock photo? Lots of color, which I love. Oh my goodness, cute. This pattern's available on Ralvery, it says. Little frog. Cute. Man, this is fun. I'm gonna have fun going through this later. Little bumblebee. Oh, what is that? Is that a floor poof? Oh, it's a tassel. That's cool though. Look, I think it's a pet bed. But it's basically just a basket to put the pet bed pillow in. That's really cool. Make sure you like class it up a little bit. And it's probably, everything in here is crochet. 
That's awesome. Very niche, very specific. So if I buy, look how cool. If I buy this book from this company, it's not going to have half crochet and half knitted that I can't use. Like getting my money's worth because I can use everything in this book because all I do is crochet. I really, really like that. I like that they have decided to add a crochet part of their business. Ooh. Look, solid cover, like off the page picture. That's really pretty. Do you guys know any of these peoples that I'm showing you? Tell me if we know these 